Hi there. Today we're diving into an important Google Play feature that can seriously improve your app's visibility and performance. Custom store listings. If you have a mobile app on Google Play, you probably want as many people to download it as possible, right? But users are different. Some come to the app page from ads, others find it through search, pics, or tops. Each user has their own path and intention, so the context of browsing and motivation for installing can vary significantly. The custom store listings feature is designed to show different groups of people the most appropriate description and visuals. Today, we're going to understand what custom store listings are on Google Play, how they work, and how you can use them effectively to attract new users. Hit the like button if you are interested in the topic, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss new useful videos about mobile marketing and ASO, and let's get started. What are custom store listings? Imagine you've created a great app, but all users see the same page on Google Play, no matter where they come from or what country they're in. This is not always effective, right? So custom store listings, or CSL, allow you to create unique pages for your app for different audiences. This means that you can adapt the name of the app, adapt the name to the cultural characteristics or language of the target audience. Short and long descriptions emphasize the features that will be of most interest to a specific user segment. App icon, use images that resonate with a specific audience. Screenshots and videos, demonstrate functionality that meets the needs of different user groups. The main goal of custom store listings is to show each audience the most relevant content based on their location, actions, or referral source. This feature allows you to targeting based on geography, setting up language localization, adapt content for specific audience segments. CSL helps to improve the user experience and make the application more attractive to specific groups of people. This allows you to increase conversion, reduce the cost of user acquisition, and make your app page more relevant to a specific segment. With CSL, you can create up to 50 unique app pages with different titles, descriptions, icons, screenshots, and videos. How does it work? For example, if you are promoting a meditation app, you can create two separate pages for different audiences. One, with a focus on stress reduction, with soothing visuals, a headline like, exhale, just 10 minutes a day, and less stress, and a description that emphasizes efficiency in a busy life. Another is focused on improving sleep, with images of night mode, audio stories, or background music for sleep, and a message like, fall asleep faster, wake up rested. Each version of the page is tailored to a specific interest and is shown only to the audience that is most relevant. This allows you to significantly increase relevance and conversion. If you have one standard app page, it cannot adapt to different requests, but CSLs allow you to show the right content to the right users. Let's look at more specific examples. Example one, CSL by geographic targeting. If your app is used in different countries, you can make localized versions of the page. French-speaking residents of Belgium who have French installed on their device will see the main page localized for France. But if you want to appeal to Belgian users, create an individual page in French, add promotions that are relevant to Belgium, and set up country targeting for Belgium. Because the standard Google Play page will be shown to all users with the French language on their device regardless of whether they are in France, Switzerland, or Belgium. And if you want to reach out to the Belgian audience specifically, you can create a customized listing in French specifically for Belgium, add screenshots with local details, for example, mentions of Belgian cities, holiday promotions, or payment methods popular in Belgium, set targeting for the country, Belgium, so that only users from this region can see this version. This approach helps to make the content closer to a specific user and accordingly increase trust and conversion. When to use it? If the functionality changes depending on the country, for example, different payment methods or services, offers, holidays, etc. Example two, by keywords, search queries in Google Play. You can create a page that will be optimized for specific keywords. For example, if you have a fitness app, you can make CSLs separately for yoga for weight loss with a focus on weight loss exercises, home trainer 
with a focus on classes without a gym. When to use it. If your app has different features that are interesting to different people. If you want to optimize for different search queries. Example 3. By Google Ads Campaigns. Do you run ads with a 7 days free promotion? Then it is logical that people who click on this ad should see the same offer on the app page, not a general description. Example 4. By URL. Direct link. You can make a separate page for a specific partnership or promotion. For example, if you're working with a blogger, they can insert a link to a special page on your app. When to use it? If you run temporary promotions or affiliate programs. Example 5. Returning inactive users. Over time, some users may stop using your app or even delete it. To regain their attention, you can create separate pages on Google Play with personalized offers. For example, if you notice that players in a certain country have stopped playing your game due to the lack of new levels or characters, you should create a custom list for this audience. Show them unique content, exclusive bonuses, or special offers in screenshots and descriptions to motivate them to come back. Example 6. Marketing your app before it's launched. Google Play allows users to pre-register for an app before its official release. This helps to create excitement and gather the first users who will receive notifications or even automatic installation on the day of release. To engage your audience more effectively, you can use customized pages for pre-registered users in different countries. For example, in the United States, you can focus on exclusive pre-registration bonuses, while in other regions, you can focus on unique features or content available immediately after launch. This will help to attract users before the release and increase the number of downloads in the first days. These examples show how flexible CSL can be used to increase the effectiveness of your mobile marketing. How to create a custom store listing. To create a custom store listing on Google Play, you need to follow a few simple steps that you can find on the official Google Play console website in the description below. So, custom store listings is a super tool for developers and marketers that helps to make the app page more personalized, increase conversion, and improve advertising efficiency. If you're not using CSL yet, now is the perfect time to start. Want to know how to properly fill out your Google Play metadata to get indexed for important keywords. You'll find a practical step-by-step -step guide linked in the video description. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Also, click the like button and subscribe so you do not miss even more useful content about mobile marketing and ASO. See you in the next videos.